What's going on guys and welcome back to Fitment Industries Garage. I'm Sean, Sean B. FI on Instagram and today Enki sent us their Regine model wheel for us to take a little peek at. But before we get into all of that, make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, don't forget to head over to fitmentindustries.com for all of your wheel, tire, and suspension needs. Let's get started. Welcome the N-Key Regine to the podium. The Regine brings the aggressive split seven spoke wheel design to the lightweight wheel game with this very affordable monoblock wheel. The details here are absolutely fantastic at this price point, especially with function and weight in mind. So starting with the outer lip, you can see this raised rim that goes around the whole outside of the wheel. Most people wouldn't think twice about this design cute, but this is where this wheel starts taking its really deep set appearance. This lip is then followed by an actual step lip that even furthers the nice deep look. Moving back outwards, you can see that the spokes themselves actually taper off that outer lip, but still remain raised out from the step lip. This gives the wheel its sizable look. Even for this being an 18, it looks rather large because of this design. Moving inward from here, you have your more or less traditional split seven spoke design. Now, I'm personally a really big fan of this style wheel as it really works on kind of everything. You see the style design on your modern Hellcats and stuff like that from the factory and the gallery shows the regime on a ton of Evos, STIs, G37s, 370Zs, and Civics, the BRC FRS 86 platform stuff, GTIs, BMW 1, 2, 3 series, and it really legitimately does work on just about everything. Coming even more inward there then from the spoke design, you're introduced to this rather large lug hole surface with a nice smooth design to it, and it's pretty concave in here as well, which makes these wheels really, really pop in a certain light as it casts a shadow in here. And then there's your traditional N key center cap, but I really kind of wish they would have sent us their optional flat center cap. It looks a hundred times better in my personal opinion, but I am a sucker for flat caps. But maybe the best part about this entire wheel is its rotary forged manufacturing process, which is able to get this wheel down to 21 0.6 pounds. Now this is an 18 by 10 and a half inch wheel here. So being in that 21 to 22 pound range is extremely impressive, especially when you start looking at something with a nice spoke design. Finishes are available in silver, which we have right here. And then you're gonna be looking at black matte gun metal or copper. Sizing is available in 18 and 19 inch configurations. And then the 18s are gonna hit your eight, eight and a half, nine and a half, and then a 10 and a half inch width like we have right here with offsets ranging from plus 15 to plus 50, depending on your width. Then the 19s are available in an eight, eight and a half, nine and a half inch widths, also hitting that plus 15 to plus 50 offset range. Pricing comes in at a very surprising $836 for an 18 by eight. And then it's gonna top out around $1,084 for your 19 by nine and a half. And then the 18 by 10 and a half, which we have right here is gonna run you right around $1,000, which is genuinely a really great value for a wheel that's pretty light for being this size and that looks this good. I hope you guys enjoyed it, taking a look at this Enki regime as much as I did, but please let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and head over to FitmentIndustries.com for all of your wheel, tire, and suspension needs. I'm Sean from Fitment Industries, Sean Bita, FI on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.